Okay, part three. <laughs> I've killed Tom Rooney. No, I, you can, that's what your audience is like. Oh, <laughs> okay, auditions. So, what are you doing? Obviously, it's working. Uh, yeah. In your self tape land in Stratford. What, I don't, what, I don't is, know. what are you doing? I, I have no idea. I, honestly, <laughs> I don't. I'm not saying that. I don't know. I, I, uh, I mean, it really is. Sometimes it feels like a lottery. And, I, you know, I remember talking to a director years ago saying, when it comes down to choosing an actor, it's like 5% of their ability. The rest is what they look like. Yeah. Not only what they look like, but who they're playing with looks like. Do right. they look, you know, if they're, you know, if they're the son of somebody, do they look close enough? Although Neil and I don't look like father and son at all. It didn't matter last time or this time. No, exactly. Apparently. Yeah. Well, that's so, an just This is an interesting gig you got because you didn't audition for this, did you? No, I didn't. I, I did this. I basically did the same part, same story a year ago with Neil, the guy, the lead, who's my son. So you got this job because of Neil? Yeah, basically. I who's so. playing the love That's interest, who's number two. Number two, yeah. Uh, and I think Danica, who's playing number one, also had seen him. Had seen that movie. Had seen him. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's like, yeah, close enough, good enough. So what's interesting about that, it doesn't happen very often, no. that you no. get, it happens in theater all the time, yeah. Yeah. you get offers, to yeah. work with because of the base of the quality of your work based on knowing yeah. people. And it's a much smaller world. Yeah, it's a smaller world. And in, but this doesn't happen. I think it happens more than we think it does. Mm. But for Canadian actors on American shows, it doesn't yeah. happen very often. But here was an example of a time that it worked. Yeah. yeah that you got a job based but, on a previous job that yeah. you've done. And, but that's it. even that previous job is like a lottery. Like it's, mm -hmm. just, it's, just a, it's just a lottery. And as I say, so much is um, about other stuff other than your acting and your, your ability. Yeah. So it's, um, but so auditions, I mean, really all you can do is, uh, it's so tricky because with self tapes, all you can do is sort of your, your, your best guess. Because right? you don't right. have any feedback, you don't even have a casting agent saying nope. we're looking for this. All you can do is so. In some ways, it's kind of great because you just do what you think it should be, and if it works, it works. But there's no pressure of like, oh, I gotta be this, or I gotta be that, yeah. or I gotta try to make squeeze myself. You just show up and give your idea or your performance of that of that character, and then you put put the message in the bottle and send it out into the void. Um, <laughs> yes. And God knows what happens, you know. It's amazing. Sometimes you think, oh, I'm perfect for this. Yeah. I'd love to play this. Yeah. But the reality is it's not up to you. No. Or even whether you're good enough. And I've had so many auditions where people have said, oh, wow, that was a great audition. Yeah. Or casting came back and said, oh, yeah. wow, terrific work. Yeah. Just didn't go that way. Yeah. And for me... What I have to remember is I'm not auditioning for to get the part, I'm auditioning for the casting agent. Mm. I want to do a good job for the casting agent, so that casting agent will continue to come back and ask me to audition. Correct. If something if that happens, something eventually will, will hit. Because you know, we haven't really talked about casting short lists, but there are short lists for casting, right? And the casting director will usually go through the pile of tapes and make their short list that they submit to production. Right. Sometimes that list is longer depending on, you know, depending on where they are in the process. Yeah. And sometimes that list is short. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you want to be one of those tapes that gets to production. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I wish I knew how many of my tapes get to production. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, you you can't really, no. and, and they're not going to tell you that information. No, exactly. You know? And then and that's the other uh, thing. again. That's the thing about going like just handing it over, giving it over, and not expecting anything, doing your best, you know, and uh, yeah. and using it as you know. I don't do this all the time because sometimes yeah, you get this part, you get a you get a part you're supposed to audition for. It's like I, I'm not going to be cast for that. I'm not. 
not going to cast you know in a million years. A, it's not right, or they're definitely going to get someone an American, a name or yeah, something for that. Yeah. So on my good days, I will use it as an exercise mm -hmm. and just an opportunity to get in front of a, a camera and work. Do you watch your self tapes back? Yeah, I watch them like this. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I definitely, I definitely, do. I definitely. Do you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. With a microscope. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. But also, that's. But a, David doesn't know. like to watch his. No. I watch David's for him. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't enjoy it. It's not something I enjoy. But I do it. But, but again, it's all about learning, right? It's all yeah. about learning. It's like, oh, why, why am I doing that? Why, why, why am I doing that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's an opportunity to, to, to learn. So you make it into an exercise and then you're doing it for yourself. Do you find that you've adjusted the size of your acting yes. for camera? Yes. And how do you how do you do that? Um, how do I do that? I think it takes I think it takes a certain amount of practice. What what is I find interesting when I watch like these people who have been doing it for many, many years can do something like I remember I did this thing with um, a long time ago with Dennis Quaid and he had this little tiny this little tiny scene where he was reunited with his son after a big thing that had happened and it was just a, lot, a little, tiny moment between the two of them and I don't even know if there was any lines but what he did in that moment I still remember it and it almost blues me it almost kind of blues me because it was so tiny and yet so incredibly real and powerful. It was, it, that that was years and years and years of, of practice. Practice. It and what did amazing. he do? It was, I, I can't, it was like so, I guess it was just so precise. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is that there's an opportunity to be small, but you have to, the intention has to be incredibly clear right. so that you're carving out a moment. You're, it, it's, it's a distilled, distilled moment. Yeah. And you can't, you can kind of get away with not, without, uh, without doing that on stage. I mean, I think the best acting and the best actors do anyway, but there's something about like, carving out each moment and giving each moment its, its, you know, its importance and its weight, mm. which is, uh, I think, what really great TV and film actors do, so that there's never any kind of, no, you cannot ride on generality. You cannot, it cannot be general. It's got to be incredibly precise. So the thought always has to be incredibly clear. And that's, it's a really great challenge. I can't, I can't do that. Yeah. But. I, I agree. I think, uh, and the bigger the part, the more precise it has to get. Yeah. 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 Yes, exactly. But I think that's a really, it's a really, um, it's a great uh, exercise. Yeah. yeah. And it's exciting. Yeah. I think it makes you, I think film and television makes you a better theater actor. I totally agree. Yeah. I totally agree. I think that level be, of specificity. Yeah, you have to be um, very, very specific. Makes you a better scene partner. Yeah. Yeah, so that you're really, you are not acting trying to change that person, you're actually really, really trying, trying to, to change, change them person. yeah yeah or change whatever it is that you're trying to yeah or accomplish whatever it is you're trying to accomplish yeah there's a a level of intimacy that happens in film and television usually also because of proximity yeah. right you know you often are very close to yes. somebody yes uh, and that can really change a dynamic of something. You're not worried about sound or people hearing yeah. you or any of that right, stuff. Right. And so it changes things, yeah. you know? Yeah. And um, I mean, I think we've all, I don't know, done that exercise. Even in theater, you just whisper your lines. Yeah. You just whisper the line. It, it does change. It changes. It changes the, you find, oftentimes you find the intention. Well, here we are. Are we in Toronto already? Pre, we are. Thank oh my you, God. Tom. That, that, that only felt like a hundred years. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you. I uh, hope I've been of use. You always are. Uh, I will just also say oh. um, I don't know anything. Everyone's different, and everyone's going to learn what they need to learn when they learn it. Yep, it's true. Yeah. 
Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. Good luck.